Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you everything that you need to know about using images in GoodNotes. These are just some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years of using GoodNotes. I use all of these in different scenarios, but yeah, I hope this helps you out and let's get started. I have this GoodNotes document here, which I'm going to go through to show you all the ways to use images in GoodNotes. I will have this exact document linked in the description if you want to go get it for yourself and follow along with the tutorial. I'll also have all the images that I'm going to be using also in the link in the description. So you can also follow along using the exact same images as well, if that's something you want to do. So here we have it. This is the page we're going to be working on. As you can see, I have six different things that I want to cover in this video regarding images in GoodNotes. So let's go to the first one, which is just the image tool, which is default in GoodNotes. So what I'm referring to is this little tool here in your toolbar, click on it, and it's going to show you your images. So here at the side, you will see all your recent images, as well as a camera icon to go ahead and take a photo with a camera camera of your iPad, but also what you can do is you can just tap anywhere in your document and then it will open up your photo library. So I'm going to go to albums here and go to GoodNotes photos and import a photo, this one here. And as you can see, you have all these little handles here at the sides. You have this X to delete the image again. And this little icon here means that you can resize the image. These will unproportion your image. So the way you can stretch it in length or width, but this is to keep the portion correctly and you just resize the size. So let's just add that there. So that is the image tool, which you're probably familiar with within GoodNotes. Then the next option is dragging and dropping images. You can use this using the Photos app, using any, literally any app that has images in it. You can drag and drop images from a different app into GoodNotes. So to enter split screen mode, you're just gonna click on these three dots here at the top and you can choose split view or slide overview. Or if you have the app that you wanna use in split screen mode in your dock already, you can also just go ahead and drag that over to the side. And you can also adjust how big you want that split screen view to be. Or if you don't want it taking up such a big space, you can just go ahead and also do a drag, but don't, don't go to the side, just do it like this. And then it will go into slide overview. So then what you can do is you can move this around as you can see here, or you can hide it off to the side and then bring it back in. So that is slide overview. It's kind of like a mini iPhone screen here at the side. And then to drag and drop, whether in split screen view or in the slide overview, you just hold down on your image and then just drag it into your app. And like I said, it's the same if you have Safari open, you can just hold down on your image, drag it over, and then it will be in your app. I'm just gonna hide this. And then you have your image like that. Now I just want to quickly cover how cropping works in GoodNotes because we're going to take a look at a different type of cropping in a minute. So I'm going to just bring up slide overview again and just import an image. So in order to crop an image in GoodNotes, you must have your image tool selected here at the top, tap on it. And like I mentioned, you can drag these handles here, but that will disproportion your image. So to crop, you just tap on your image again, and then you'll see these options come up and click on crop. Then you have two options. You have rectangle, which can just adjust the sides like this. So you can crop exactly how you want in a rectangle. Or another cool option is freehand, where you use your Apple Pencil, whatever stylus you have, and outline exactly what you want in the cropping section. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on done. And there it is exactly how I lined it out with my Apple Pencil. So that's cropping within GoodNotes. It's really simple. I just wanted to cover that because now we're going to look at a different type of cropping, which is selecting the subject of an image. So I'm going to go ahead and open up photos here in split view. And basically selecting the subject means it selects the subject, the thing that's most distinct in an image and outlines it, selects it, and then you can drag that subject over into GoodNotes or save it as a photo. So for instance, in this photo here, the most prominent subject is this record player. So how you select the subject is you just hold down on the subject of an image and as you can see, it will make this little outline around that subject. So you can either then go click on copy and then just paste it into GoodNotes or you can click share here and share it into whatever app or the most easiest way, you just select your subject and then just drag that over. And then as you can see, it's only the subject, the background did not come with it. So this is one of my favorite things that is available on iPad 
because it's just so nice, especially if you have a very clear subject, it just comes out really nicely. Now, similarly to selecting the subject of a photo, you can also copy the subject from any image from the web. So I'm gonna open up Pinterest in the website. Don't do this from the Pinterest app, it's not gonna work from the Pinterest app, but if you have it open in Safari, it will work. So let's go ahead and do that. So here in Pinterest, we have this image here. So you shouldn't go into the photo, just keep it here in this feed view, hold down, and then select copy subject. So this works for any website with any image on a website. And then just paste that into GoodNotes. And as you can see, it only copies and pasted the subject of that image. So that's really, really cool. And a very fun way to quickly just copy a subject without having to save it to photos first. Let's try it with this image here. So again, hold down, click on copy subject, and let's go to GoodNotes, paste. As you can see, it only saved and copied the subject. Now the last option that we have is creating custom stickers. I have a whole dedicated video to this, but in short and sweet, I'm gonna go into photos. Let's do the side view again. I'm gonna choose this image here. And again, you're gonna hold down on the subject of your image. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on add sticker and it will add it to your stickers. As you can see, I have quite a few. You can also do this in the messages app, but it's just very quickly in the photos app. Then you can go to the side and click on add effect. This will then give you different effects that you can add to a sticker. You can click on outline and will give a nice white outline to that sticker. This is my favorite one. And we're just gonna choose comic, which will give it a comic effect. Puffy will give it like a puffy sticker effect and shiny will give it a shiny sticker effect. Like I said, mine is favorite is outline, but that is how you create stickers within iOS. So this is new to iPadOS 17. So once you're happy with that, you can click on done. I'm just gonna close this for now. And how you access those stickers that you've made, all you need to do is choose the text tool, tap anywhere, and then go to your emoji keyboard. Then here you will see all your frequently used ones if you have any, but to see all the stickers that you've created, just click on this sticker icon. You can see it here as well. Tap on that and then it will open up in this view. So you shouldn't just tap on the image. What you should do is you hold down and drag it like you would do any normal image. Cause if you tap on it, it's gonna handle it as text and it's just not gonna work. So I'm just gonna hold down on that image until you see that green plus sign come up and then release. And then it will be an image in your GoodNotes document here. So that is how stickers work in GoodNotes. I just wanna quickly show you again in case you couldn't follow, hold down on the subject, click on add sticker, and then you will add it here. You can add an effect to it or not if it's your choice. And again, to access it in GoodNotes, click on the text tool, go to the emoji keyboard, and then go here to see all your stickers and then you can drag and drop that into GoodNotes. So that's in a nutshell how to use images in GoodNotes. I hope this helped you out and you learned some tips and tricks and this will just maybe improve how you use images. Again, link in the description to this document and these photos that I was using in this video, um, apart from the web ones, you can just search your own web ones. Um, but yeah, in the description if you wanna follow along. So that was my video on images in GoodNotes. I really hope it helped you out and maybe you learned something new. This is some really fun tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. And these are just things that I use all the time in GoodNotes. So I really hope it helped. If it did, give this video a like. It really helps me out a lot. And comment down below if you have any questions and I will definitely reply to you in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.